Cooper Marcia here. Here's part two of Cats Do Things. There's something about a fluffy cat that just rolls around the house. They roll around on the ground on their backs for a variety of reasons, but they only do so when they are fully relaxed as bearing their belly is exposing it to threats. They could just be scratching their backs or stretching their muscles, or they could be trying to involve you in a game. Rolling is also a technique for them to mark their territory, as their scent is left on the surface area they roll around on. When compared to typical dogs, most cats have a sense of pride and self-importance that is characteristic of their nature. They recognize their name and the voice of their owner, but unlike dogs, they do not always respond immediately when called. Cats prefer to show affection when they want, rather than when you want. If they're not seeking attention and you call them, they won't answer. Nothing to worry about as your cat will approach you when he wants. As cat owners, I know you love your cats. You love showering them with affection. But when they try their hand at opera singing in the middle of the night, just after you fall asleep, it really makes you reconsider your life choices. <laughs> These sounds could be the result of the cat attempting to hunt or could be cries of unhappiness if no prey can be located. If you play, play with your cat while you, while you are awake, it will be tired when you go to sleep. Let sleeping cats lie is an old adage. Turns out there's a reason why your kitten wants to have 40 winks, irrespective of the time of day. It's because during sleep, their bodies release growth hormones needed for their development. That's why kittens sleep more than adults. Cats usually sleep a lot because they need to save their energy for the next hunt or activity. They also fall asleep when they're bored and there's nothing to do. So if you want to engage them, play with them. Now teething or pica is a condition in which cats chew on plastic or other non-food items. Without resorting to restricting its freedom, you should take your cat to the veterinarian if it is gnawing on non-food objects frequently. While researchers aren't sure what causes pica, they believe it could be due to cal caloric issues to, or stress or worry. Cats chew on things that aren't food to relieve stress. In the long run, your cat's digestive system can be harmed by this. Bumming you out. There you are at home on your sofa. You try to cuddle your cat, but it keeps on escaping your loving grasp and keeps presenting you with its fluffy butt. <laughs> what have you done this time to deserve this gesture from your cat? Lifting their tails and shoving their romp rump in your face may appear rude, but it's actually a sign of faith and devotion. We show you, we show that we are friendly and willing to interact with you by lifting our tails in a way. It's a compliment. Your tabby may also follow you to the, like a bodyguard to the bathroom. Some researchers say that cats follow owners where they go when they feel vulnerable. Some cats do this because they're curious by nature. Maybe they're smart enough to know that your attention will be on them if you're, if you're in the bathroom with you. I have a part two, but tomorrow is CCC up. I mean, I, I mean, I have a part three, but tomorrow is CCC update day. So Cooper Marcher here. Ciao.